right, everyone. Hello and welcome back to the channel. All right. So for those of you that were interested in the paranormal, here is a couple of videos that I put together of me and my good friend Miguel. Um, we went to a couple of few uh, locations that are known in my area to be haunted. Um, the first one is called Hollenbeck Cemetery. Now, this cemetery is forget about it well known um there's been a few paranormal investigators um popular ones that have come from out of state to go to that particular cemetery because of the activity that goes on there at night um there is um graves out there from the 15 to 1700s that i've seen and um there is one that i am well, I, I am interested in the paranormal, but there is one grave there that supposedly belongs to a witch, a witch's grave. And um, for those who, um, it, it is said, anyone who was to read the, the, the tombstone or whatever would be cursed for the rest of their lives. So now, mind you, I believe in the paranormal. I'm interested in finding out, you know, as much information as I can get. But that one particular grave, I will not go near. Um, whether it's true or not, it's already been said. And it's regardless. Anyway, um, so this first one here, this first video is of a Hollenbeck Cemetery. And um, me and my um, my little buddy there, we, um, we did a video there. And you're going to see. We caught, I have a camera called an SLS camera, which pretty much maps out the spirit in a stick form and um we caught we caught three we caught three of them um but and then it got dark on us i didn't realize that it was going to get dark that quick so i didn't bring any kind of lighting with me that was the kick in the butt there um if i know i'm gonna be out late i normally got a bunch of setups you know light set up and um i just screwed up on this one i didn't bring no light so I uh, kicked myself in the butt for that one, but let's check out this first video, guys. Hey, good evening, guys. It's your friend Steven out here in Wooksburg, PA. Wooksburg, PA. All right, guys, listen. Today is Sunday, August 2nd of 2020. We are at um, at the Hollenbeck Cemetery. Um, it's almost, I don't know, it's like 8.30, 8.45 or whatever. And I'm sure you guys have seen my first video that we did um, early in the day. I came alone. All right, you be good, sunshine. Thank you. We're um, confirming that. All right, thank you. We just ran into an individual who approached us and said she... Um, she went in here as you see that road there towards the the back over there she pointed out an area where she said is very active um and apparently she said she i guess who knows when she didn't make a comment when but that she had passed over so that means to me the way i took it is she was under the you know under the knife at one time or and she you know her heart stopped or whatever and apparently she feels that spirits do attract themselves to her anyway um you saw my video that i did here at the hollenbeck cemetery which is well known for it being haunted you got it on no no not yeah. that Hold turn the, the the k2 meter yeah, see if yeah. anything picks up um is i came here with us or is that, it does look like somebody it's right person, right it looks like a person i'm assuming it's a headstone but you never know I know what you're talking about, right over there, right? Oh, let me show you guys. Let me see if there's a zoom in there. Yeah, right there. Right, right there. Right there. It looks like a, an outline of somebody. I don't, I doubt very much it's a shadow person because they don't like being seen. Once they realized that we saw it, it, it would disappear. But damn, does it look like the silhouette of a person, right? It does, yeah. right? I swear to God, it does look like a person. Well, if it's not there in a few seconds when we go in there, 
Anyway, guys, you guys have seen my um, my video that I did here um, last week during the day or whatever. And I just wanted to come back because that particular day all I had was my K2 meter and the spirit box. This time I brought my SLS camera to see if we would catch some spirits. Hang on, hang on for a second. I want to turn that on. Hold this phone. I want to want to turn that on thing on. I must. You did a poor job of recording that day. People were complaining about. Well, you were supposed I was to look. Very scared. Hi guys, this is this is the camera. Um, right now there's nothing popping up, but you guys know what this particular matter of fact. There goes Miguel. You see how it's mapped out? That's Miguel right there. Okay. That it went away because I think it's only like 10 feet, something like that, 10, 15 feet right there. That's Miguel. That's what the spirit looks like once he's caught on the camera. Okay. Um, I'm not going to keep the phone on the camera until we catch something. Um, but in a cemetery, I'm going to guess that we, um, we're going to catch one or two of them. Um, I'm talking to the spirits that are here. Please do not be upset with me and Miguel. We come by just to swing by and say hello. Um, we come here with much respect. And um, like I said, we just come by to say hello. And um, if we can get a, a, a spirit to communicate with us, that would be great. We don't, um, we don't mean any harm. This equipment that we have in our hands will not harm you guys in any way. And um, that's pretty much it, okay? But if there is a spirit out there that wants to communicate with us, uh, <clears throat> there is a box that we have here. It has lights on it. Give us a sign that you're communicating with us by making that those lights on that box light up. Are there any spirits out here that want to communicate with us? Oh, I would think by now we'd catch something on this camera here. No, no, they're probably scared. Well, I think a lot of them don't just want to be, they don't want to be known. My idea is to find that one spirit that wants to communicate and try to get as much information from him as possible all right like i said unfortunately like i didn't know it was gonna get dark on us that quick and stupid me i didn't bring the can uh, the lights or whatsoever um so i do apologize i know it's a it's a kick in the ass i just wanted to show i'm not gonna play the whole video i just want to show you the part where we did catch um there was like a couple of spirits that we interacted with. And like I said, that, that one lady that we came across um, uh, earlier in the video there, that one lady that happened to be walking her dog, and she had told us that she had um, some type of surgery or whatsoever, and that she had passed away in that surgery, or her heart stopped or whatever for a period of time. And, you know, apparently she felt that that time that she passed away on the table there, um, from that time she's been saying that she's been able to see certain things and I guess that spirits are attracted to her for some reason. For that reason, I should say. So, uh, she had pointed out an area of that cemetery. Apparently, she walks her dog there like every day. So, she knows that, like, that cemetery, like the back of her hands. And um, I just made it to the beginning, uh, the beginning of that area uh, where she was pointing out, and we had made contact. And that's it. I, I just got a little, you know, we started hearing noises and all kind of crap. That, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I got scared. Okay, but I just want to show you a little bit of, uh, of what, you know, we caught the spirit on the, on the SLS camera and then I'll jump into another video because unfortunately, like I said, I swear, I didn't realize we were going to get caught in the dark and I didn't bring, I, I got all kind of lights, you know, to light up the area when we're out there doing our thing and I, I, I screwed up, you know what I mean? But let's get back to the video and um, again, just try to bear with me.
Oh, there you go, right here. Right there, guys. Right between those two, um, those two, um, just caught a spirit right there between those two head, um, headstones there. Spirit, my name is Steven, and I come here in peace. All I want to do is say hello, and if there's some information, is it lighting up? Yeah. Put it over there. Put it on the floor over there near those two things. There he goes. See, guys? There he goes. What is it? He's right there by the tree and those two, um... That's so cool. By the tree. Just put it on the floor there. Right here? Please. I'll put it next to it. Spirit, give me a sign. Give me a sign. Hang on to this for a minute. Aim it at those two headstones there. Spirit, give me a sign that you um that you want to communicate with us by making that black box there light up. We just saw you a few seconds ago. This camera here lets us see the past, the living, or should I say, lets us see the dead spirits. You see them? It's two. There's two of them there? Yeah. Spirits, like I said, we come here in peace. We don't mean any harm. So there's nothing to be afraid of. There is definitely nothing to be afraid of. It's 87 degrees. This one here picks up the spirits. Plus it gives you the temperature. When a spirit is I detected with this, this one, K, this is like a K2 meter, but different. Not only will it detect, um, detect the spirit, but spirits i don't know they let off cold or whatever and uh, is he still there you still catching him i'm catching like two right there and i just caught one right there well i gotta imagine this is this is their you know we're gonna catch them spirits could you give us a sign that you um that you hear us there's a little black box there on the tree there if you touch it or get close to it it will light up can you make those lights light up for me please I want to catch it on camera so when you catch it when you catch it on camera let me know spirit like i said my name is steven can you tell me your name so i know how to greet you we mean no harm these items that we have on our hands are just tools to let us know that you're here we come in respect in a respectful manner we mean no harm and these tools here will not hurt you in any way. Can you give us a sign that you're communicating with us, that you're willing to communicate with us by lighting those, lighting the lights up on that box there? That box there with the one green light on has many more lights on it. If you touch it or get close to it, it'll completely light up. And this box in my other hand here also catches you. Not in a bad way, just to text you. But we have some questions that I wanted to ask. I wanted to ask if you guys are at peace here, where your body has been buried by family members or friends or whatsoever. Can you answer me that question? Have you caught it again? Let me turn um let me turn that um the spirit box on. I'm gonna put this box on the floor. No, I'm not gonna put it on the floor. Hang on guys, I'm trying to get stuff out of my pockets here. Let's see if we get some kind of communication with them. I don't know if you got to see on uh on the other camera, but what you said two? We definitely saw two, but you're saying three? In total, three. Yeah, two right here. We've already and then seen one three. On the That's, uh... Ed Box. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking to the spirits that are here. Are you willing to communicate with us? Yes or no? Talking to this box here. This box gives us the opportunity to communicate with each other. 
Are there any spirits here that are willing to talk to us? My name is Steven. Can you tell me your name so I know how to greet you? Is it okay for the for the, the spirits to talk to humans? To, I mean, humans. Is it okay for spirits to talk to the living? Because it seems I get the idea that you guys are not supposed to be talking to us. Or am I misunderstanding that? Are there any spirits here that are willing to communicate with us? I know the video might seem a little dark. Unfortunately, I didn't bring my spotlight, but I didn't think it was gonna get dark that fast. Cause I was gonna ask you guys, if you guys see anything, I'm busy running off at the mouth. So I hope that if you guys see anything such as a shadow or something, um unusual peek um peek around the headstone or tree or whatever that you would let me know um like i said I, it was daylight when we came and all of a sudden it got dark and i know you guys can't really help me out that much as the video is going to come out dark i guess are there any spirits here willing to communicate with us i'm only willing to communicate with a good spirit any spirit that is evil or inhuman, I do not want to have anything to do with you. No offense. I just don't want to talk to any evil spirits or any inhuman spirits. You catch another one? Come on over here. Well, you're going to see it. If it comes up as a stick form, then you're catching... Well, then you're catching the spirit then. Yeah, that's a... Yeah, yeah. Damn, that's a big spirit there. Wait, fuck, that's a lot. That is a big spirit. I've never seen a spirit that size or whatever. Spirit, can you communicate with me? Can you tell me your name? We're able to see you. Hi, hello. I think you said hello. Can you wave at me? Can you wave to say hello? There's two of them there. Can you wave at me to say hello? I'm talking to both those spirits here in front of us here. Can you wave at me to say hello? Oh, there goes another one. Could any of you spirits wave at me to say hello? Wave at me like this, wave. Can you tell me your name? I'm talking to the two spirits that are in front of us. Can you tell me your name? Are you good spirits? It, that, that spirit on the right looks like it's waving. That one, right? Yeah, that one on the right looks like it's waving. Or holding his hands above his head. I think. No, no, no. I'm talking to the spirits in front of us. Can you wave at me? We're able to see you with this camera here. Can you wave? Can you tell me your name? My name is Steven and this is Miguel. Can you tell me your name so we know how to greet you? Is there a reason that you don't want to communicate with us? Well, maybe you are, because I do notice sometimes when I get home, you know, I've done heard more chatter than what I thought I heard. Hang on, 
think I want to get the protein meter and see, um, see if it picks them up. Still there, right? Oh wow, it feels cold there too. Hold on, stay right there. It might be me. Hang on. Give me one second. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just wanted to get video. One though. Still there, right? Can you see my hand? No. So it's over here somewhere, though, right? You see my hand, by the This should be it should be reading the spirit and it's not. I don't know if you guys know about this um this is a new K2 meter that I got my hands on. It's supposed to be more thorough. Not only will it let you know when it catches the spirit, but it'll give you the temperature. That spirits are well known to let off cold. And um it's currently 86 degrees, 86.3. Um, I pretty much got my hand where the spirit is at. It's over here somewhere, right? Spirit, can you tell me your name, please? Or can you touch this box in my hand here to let me know that you're communicating with me? About this particular meter, I'm not. I'm not happy with this meter. I mean, we're seeing two spirits on the SLS camera. Well, either, 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 either meter is not picking them up. No offense. I'm just putting this box on your headstone. No offense. Yeah. Is he waving? Can you wave at me, spirit? Oh, he is. Look, like he is waving. Son of a gun, he does look like he's waving, in my opinion. Spirit, are you waving at us? Are you saying hello? Is that your way of saying hello? What is your name, Spirit? It's standing right in front of the headstone. You can see this right there is like an x-ray. It gives you like an x-ray of what, what you're looking at. Spirit, can you tell me your name so we know how to greet you? He is waving, I swear to God, he's waving. Spirit, I'm asking you, can you tell me your name so we know how to greet you? We'll use the other hand. Another question then, just in case you answered that one. Have you guys met Jesus Christ yet? Have you met Jesus yet? I'm assuming if you guys have passed away a while ago that you got to see Jesus Christ. Is there anything that you could tell me about Jesus? Is there anything that you can tell me about Jesus? Or is there anything that you can tell me about heaven?
I get the idea that you can go to heaven and back whenever you want to. Is that true? What? No, I think like more. Spirit, can you wave at us again to let us know that you're making communication with me? With us? Can you wave at us again? Spirit, can you wave at us to say hello? Are you trying to communicate with us? We might not be able to hear you correctly right now until I get home and download this in my computer, but like I said, we come here with respect. I'm guessing you remember that I came here last week during the daytime, and um, if I'm able to get flowers, I will drop flowers here for you guys. I heard, heard that. What? I heard, that's what I heard on that. I heard, heard that. Okay. The spirits, I'm talking to the spirits that are in front of us. Can you tell me your name? Can you give us your name so we know how to greet you? We're talking to the spirits in front of us. Is there any way that you could give us a sign by touching that box on the headstone there? If you touch that box on the headstone, the lights will light up. Give us that sign. Touch that box on the headstone there with the green light on. It will light up. Give us that sign. Is there any information that you can give us about the coronavirus? I know spirits know the future or whatever. Somehow you guys can tell the future. Will that coronavirus go away soon? Or will it continue to kill people? Is there anything you can tell us about that virus? Can you say anything to us? Can you give us an indication that you hear us? Can you touch that black box? I'll turn this radio on. Hold on. All right. Like I said, I don't want to play the whole video. I mean, we pretty much spent a good hour there trying to communicate with those um, spirits there that we caught on the tombstone. And um, but we were, I don't know. I, I really with the, with that spirit box there. If you guys ever see the the paranormal shows now that are on like the ghost hunting shows, um, you know, you will hear um, this is a different one. This is called an S an S box where the ones that you normally see there's a, a couple of ghost hunters that use the, the same box that I got but the majority of the ghost hunters out there are using something called an SB7 uh, SP7 I think it's called and um you get a better response with them but you need a speaker with that you like it's so damn low that with this one that i got you don't need no damn speaker it's nice and loud and you do hear conversations it's just you got to get used to that noise and you'll definitely listen to me guys when i tell you i've had there are times that you'll hear a nice crisp conversation even with the noise you'll hear it they they kind of like block out that noise when they're talking um, you'll get a nice conversation, nice crisp. But I do notice when I go home, I normally, there's a SIM card in that, um, that radio, spirit box, whatever you want to call it. There's a SIM card in there. Normally when I get home, I take the SIM card, upload it onto my laptop, and then I'll listen to it like a few times with headphones. And that's where you hear the communication. And then normally, you know, like the 
the ghost hunters normally do while they when they make their video they'll pretty much you know they'll write you know they'll pretty much write the words of what what the spirit is saying and yeah i could do it and it's just it takes time it's it's it's, it's not five ten minutes you'll spend a few hours there playing around but anyway you know one of the ideals that when i'm out there recording i make sure that i got the camera next to the to the radio so i'm hearing it you're hearing it and sometimes i've had people tell me oh shit i heard you know this is what i heard did you hear it too you know and but anyway let's jump into the next video and um, the next video here is a, a haunted train station. I've gone there five times, guys, five times. And each time that I've gone there, I've caught some type of activity. This particular uh, video that I'm putting on, um, at the end, I'm not going to play the whole video. I'm going to play uh, pretty much the a little bit of the beginning and then the rest of the end. We had a rock tossed at us. Guys, nobody's in that. It's a desolate area. <laughs> There's nobody in that area. We're the only two dopes out there. It's like 1 o'clock in the morning. And my buddy there is provoking it. And I don't like doing that. I'm not into prov provoking the spirits because... You piss them off, guys. Listen, they have enough energy to knock you on your ass. Trust me when I tell you they got enough energy to knock you on your ass. Because I got one video where they knocked me on hey, my good evening, ass. Guys. It's your um, friend Steven out here. We'll but I'm going to show you. We are towards the end right, guys, here. We got a rock see, thrown at us. And then, and um, you and again, my, you my buddy there again. is provoking. And um, you will hear four. Four loud bangs. Is a, a Listen, Wolfsburg it's scary, guys. That I, I got, I got, I packed um, my shit Wolfsburg up and left. Uh, um, these I've spirits have enough here. energy and to do things, to do normally, things that you would right? not yep. believe, See guys. How it to go but off? Let's check out the video, guys. Like they let me know I'm here. You know, um, most of you guys know in my prior videos. Um, this is an entrance right here where I got the K2 meter uh, set up at. And oh my god, it always goes off. Like the activity is my opinion, this is their the way they're going in and out of or whatsoever. Um, so today I brought my SLS camera. Um, I've gotten conversation. Um, I've come here with my daughter with the spirit box, and when I've gone home to record, you know, upload it on my um laptop and go over it with the headphones, I've gotten conversations from them. Okay, and I've already told the spirits that we come here with much respect. We are not trying to disrespect you spirits at all. We know this is where you live at. This is considered your home. So I don't want you guys to be upset with us in any way. We come here because we want to ask a few questions. Um, and we're trying to prove to the world that spirits do exist. Believe it or not, spirits, there are people out here that don't believe you guys exist. So it's something that i want to show now i don't know if you guys could see but the k2 meter is spiking here and there all right do me a favor miguel just hold it hold it up again you know just focus it on that that box all right all Alright spirits, give me the opportunity to see you, show yourself, I have a camera here that's able to see you, show yourself, there's nothing to be afraid of, none of these things in my hands will hurt you in any way. I am calling to the spirits that live here, that stay here. I am asking you to show yourself. There's nothing to be afraid of. I 
I think it caught something in uh, like a few seconds ago and then it left. And I think the spirits, they have the... Yep, 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 yep. I don't think it was you. Might have been you. Come back here with me, Miguel. I think... I, I, I'm not sure, but I think it caught you instead. I want you guys to see what I... Well, you can't see too good, but... Once I catch a spirit on this box... Yep, yep, there you go. All right, so I just want to let you guys know that we just made contact with the first spirit there. And um, just wanted to make, you know, take note that you'll notice that the video will go blurry at times. When the video goes blurry, it's because this it's picking up the spirit. The spirit, I don't know why, but whenever you're recording in an area that's haunted or whatever, that's known, that spirits are known to be there, if you're recording and your video goes blurry, it's because the video, you're, you're catching it now, let's say. Your camera is catching it, and for whatever reasons, the spirits blur them out. So just take note, when you notice that the video goes blurry, it's because it's catching the spirit, the camera. There you go exactly where the k2 meter is at exactly where the k2 meter is at and it looked like he's on the floor trying to hide from us spirit there's nothing to be afraid of we see you and we don't come here to try to harm you in any way there's nothing to be afraid of we just saw you a few seconds ago and there's nothing to be afraid of we're not trying to hurt you in any way. We just need some communication. Did you see it? I saw it, yeah. He was on the floor. Like, like, laying that's why that K2 meter is going off. He was like laying down, like you said. And I think once they realize that we could see them, all of a sudden they bug out and they, you know, they go scrambling or whatever. Want to move that board? No, no, no. I just want to be able to, to catch it on camera. I want to be able to catch it on camera, but this light is, is throwing a beam. I don't know how to shut the light off. Yeah, I don't want to cut the video off or whatever. All right, let's try to... I know we need a little bit of light or whatever. I'm talking to the spirit that we just seen here a few minutes ago. My name is Steven, just so that you know my name. Again, I say there's no reason to be afraid of me in any way. I come in peace. I come in peace. And all I want to do is communicate with you and show the world that you exist. Please do not be afraid of us in any way. Show yourself so I can see you again. Come on now. You don't have to be afraid of us. Show yourself. There's nothing to be afraid of, Spirit. Are you the spirit of the man that killed himself here a couple of weeks ago? You could also talk to us using that box that's in his hand. We're able to hear you. We're able to see and hear you. Do not be afraid of us. I don't know why you don't want to be seen. Show yourself. Say that again. Yeah, he's there. He's there. And it, it's. I just. The way it was. Like when we first saw him, he wasn't standing. He was, he was laying on the ground there as if he was trying to. There he goes, right there. He's right there. Now he's floating in the middle by the box. Yeah, yeah, he's right there in the corner, right there. Crawl or like standing? Oh, uh, standing. Like where the box is at, but to the left of it. In the corner there, standing. Spirit, show yourself, please. There's nothing to be afraid of. 
We come here with good intentions. Son of a gun. <laughs> Hang on to that. Just so you guys, just so you guys, that's what the spirit looks like, that map form, but that's Miguel, okay? That's Miguel, I just told him to stand in front of the door. Come back over here, Miguel. But that's exactly what the spirit's... Son of a gun, man! Hey, let me hold that. You Hang on to that. that. So if you hit the wire or whatever, well, the spirit is knocking it out of whack. Alright, so let me just say that um, if you guys are familiar with this, um, ghosts for some reason, they jury your energy out of your batteries. Um, I go wherever I go, whenever I go to one of these locations, I make sure I buy a brand new pack of batteries, which they last for uh, a good eight hours. A fresh pack of batteries will last me a good eight hours. Um, and I only bought one pack, okay? And um, the spirit, he drained it. He drained it out. <laughs> he drained the batteries. I was only there for, I don't know, 20 minutes to a half hour. And um, fresh pack, brand spanking new, drained the batteries. So without the batteries, it knocks my... Um, the, the 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 laptop is connected to what they call a connect sensor the connect sensor is what what maps them out into a, a stick form and that that connect sensor it has a battery pack where you put eight eight duracell i buy eight duracell batteries they're triple well uh, not triple a the double a batteries and um eight of them eight of them to operate that sensor and um like i said you get a good eight hours of recording and um i was only there like 20 30 minutes the most boom it knocked my camera right out so you you hear me bitching and moaning i didn't know at that time until i got home that i said oh shit, they drained the battery that's why i wasn't working it drained the battery but um, let's get back to the video. And now you, you know, pay attention to the rock is going to be thrown. And then you'll hear that, that loud banging noise. You, you'll you see what I'm talking about where we got, uh, should I say, I got petrified. And I just packed my stuff up and just left. You can tell he's there and I don't understand. Maybe he's, he's afraid. I don't know why. If you want us to leave, make that box light up to red and we will leave. To make, that, uh, to make that box light up to red, you gotta either touch it or get closer to it and it will light up to red. So if you want us to leave, make it light up to red. yourself spirit hey, go and knock it out again. It's never did that before never did that before when we leave from here play with it and see if it works when you leave come on spirit there you go he's right next to you don't 
So what? He's not gonna do if nothing you to you. Say it like that, it the fuck out of you. Cause he looks like he's trying to. He's hovering above you. All right. So that little popping noise that you heard was a a rock, a, not a big rock, a small, you know, like a like the size of a, like a, a a golf ball, golf ball or whatever. Okay. Um, all the windows and the entryways are are boarded up with plywood, and that right where we're at, we're in the front entrance, the doorway. Okay, which is semi um, semi split open, and. Um, Again, you know, that popping noise was a rock thrown at us. And you got to keep in mind that there's nobody there. Nobody there. The area, it's, I don't know, it was like 1 o'clock in the morning. And, um, you know, come on. Out of, out of the blue moon, a rock just tossed at us? It goes to show you what a spirit can do now, okay? Now watch what happens afterwards. Watch what happens next. Oh my god, man. Again? Uh, I think that was that I think that was it. But that is too coincidental. They would have been through a fucking lot. I don't think it's them, I think no. it's the spirit. I think so too. The spirit, I don't know why he's scared of us or whatever. But it happened after you said he was above me. Well, he was... I caught you standing, and a damn thing won't stay open. Nope. I swear on my kids, that wasn't me. All my kids, Steve, that was not me. It's inside. Woo! You lying. All my kids, Steve, that was not me. I'm not fucking with you, bro. Three big bangs. Boom, boom, boom. No, boss are like four. You lying. All my kids, Steve. It caught it. I know it did. All right, guys. You heard the banging, okay? I'm going to say it again. We are the only ones there. That area where we're at is pretty much desolate. It's it's like deserted. It's 1 o'clock. Uh, it's 1 o'clock in the morning. Ain't nobody around. Nothing. And, um, yeah, it, it, it panicked me. You know, uh, uh, I say a few minutes later. Like a, <laughs> a couple of minutes after this happened, I just called it a night. I said, okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> Um, but um, we've got we've done a couple of videos there, and um, anyway, guys, I, I'm gonna end the video here because I, I know it's it's already going on almost an hour, and I'm not. It's just a pain in the ass uploading videos uh, at an hour or more. Um, but again, uh, uh, their locations. I've gotten locations tomorrow. I'm gonna put that video on where that spirit. I'm telling you guys, I'm not lying to you. It threw me on the floor. What I'm telling you, you feel, you feel something. I've been touched a couple of times. I've gotten smacked in the back of my head. It's like a real person smacking you, but you, there's nobody there. Okay? You really feel that. Uh, I, you would have to have it happen to you to understand what I'm trying to get at. Okay? Um, but they touch. If, if somehow they... I don't know how they, I, that's why I'm trying to learn more. I'm trying to figure out how they can do things, why they still linger around in earth. Um, I've gotten some type of communication where they're able to go back and forth. There is something considered a heaven. I've communicated with a spirit. There is something considered heaven. Okay, and the way the, the conversation that I had, apparently they're able to go to heaven and come back whenever they want. Okay, because I always said, why, why, you know, why are these spirits still lingering on earth if there is a heaven? I thought when you pass away, you go to heaven. But um, there's a lot to learn. There is truly a lot to learn. And, um, you know, 
know nobody's nobody's passed away and then come back to tell us what happens there's no handbook no nothing so that's why i'm out here doing what i'm doing you know and yes i'm not gonna lie there's been a couple of places that done freaked me out you know it gets a little scary you know and but anyway tomorrow i'm gonna play that video you know, I'll throw that video on there where it threw me on the ground, guys. It threw me on the ground. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the videos. Like I said, you know, it's you got to be there. And if anybody's in Pennsylvania, anybody that's watching my videos, I'm going. Oh, what is today is uh, today is November 28th of 2027, something like that on um, December December 11th, I think it is. Um, I'm going to Eastern State Penitentiary again. And I have membership there. Um, I'm able to bring five people um, with me for free. Okay? I, my membership takes care of that. If anybody in the area or if you're, a, you know, if you're near me or whatever and you want to come, message me comment below message me or whatever and it'll be my treat you know what i mean you're welcome to come with us and um yo you'll like it you know you're um you're doing investing i got the equipment you just gotta put you know you just gotta have the nerve let's say that's all i ask is you know it's a little it's a, it gets scary at times you know anyway listen i hope you enjoyed the video and um hey it is what it is guys have a good night Someone's in there or something's in there.